What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here, welcome back to my F1 2010 career mode. This is the Italian Grand Prix at Monza, another great race. And if you missed the last race, and the last few races, go and check them out, especially the last one at Spa, which is always a classic, and we had a very exciting one there. And do that quickly, because the result's about to be spoiled, as we have a quick look at the driver's standings, which is going to look very interesting now. Du -du -du, there we go, it's a one-point lead to Mark Webber. More and more, it looks like a two-way battle for this driver's title in Season 2. And yeah, we've got the advantage at the moment, and we're looking to extend on the lead. Because I'm usually pretty good around Monza. It's an enjoyable track, usually good for some decent racing. But in qualifying, it was actually starting to rain. Uh, drivers had put in a lap, and it wasn't the quickest a lap. It was just enough on the dry tyres, but the dry tyres seem to be sticking on a wet track, which isn't realistic at all. But come to the line, where are we going to end up? It's P1. By one and a half seconds, we've absolutely blitzed them. And it, the weather got worse, so I thought, yeah, end of the session. I actually nearly restarted there by accident, which would have, been, would have been awful, but there we go. No one improved for the rest of the session. We took pole position, so we're very happy with that one. Miles ahead of Hamilton. And then Rosberg, so them two going into turn one should be pretty interesting. But best of all, look down at the bottom. Mark Webber down in eighth position, 2.8 seconds off our pace. That's definitely a hammer blow in the title race. And to Mark Webber's head, so he's got to watch out for me. But race day is a totally different story in terms of weather. Nice and sunny. We've got a long run to turn one. Let's see what our start's going to be and away we go. We're going to move over to the right. I think I think Hamilton's got a decent start there. We're trying to psych him out, but no, it hasn't. We're trying to block Rosberg as well, but he's got through as well. Let's try and break late into the turn one. And no, they've actually both jumped us, which is very surprising. We nearly made contact with Button. He was trying to sneak through as well. But look at that start. It's Hamilton versus Rosberg again. Is there going to be any contact? Um, it looks pretty clean so far. There's a huge gap. Webber's got through up to P5. It goes us, Button, Webber. Then a huge gap. We uh, Rosberg's going for the lead there. We've got wide over the curve. Speed bump. No, we spun. We spun. We've saved it. But we're down to fifth. Oh, what are you doing? Speed bump, sleeping policeman, whatever you are. Oh, it's dropped us down to fifth. And now we're trying our best to get back our position of third and try and get back into the lead. This has been a very scrappy opening lap for us, but we blitz past Webber. He hasn't got the greatest straight line speed. Or does he actually? He's fighting back with side by side. Going into Ascari. Two championship contenders. But we've got it. Back up to fourth place. Let's try and recover this. And aim for the victory. Which I think we really could go for. And that's a fantastic run on the exit of Ascari. On the back of button. Making the most of the slipstream. And we're going to go for it into Parabolica. I'm not sure where Button's going there. I thought it was going to go off the track there, but into P3. We're bringing it back nicely. Rosberg in our sights. Let's hope Hamilton doesn't get away um, in first place. But yeah, I didn't expect a great start, but into turn one, I expected to outbreak the AI and take it uh, the lead back, but it hasn't worked out like that. Very entertaining, though. So let's try and get Rosberg. And I was actually messing with the aero which you could do back then, um, a couple of times during the lap, I think it was, because uh, I was struggling in the middle sector, the uh, two Les Moles were, my car was really under steery around there, but look at this, Hamilton's into the pits, so there we go, Hamilton's gone for a two-stop, it's situations like, I say it nearly every race when one of my contenders, uh, title contenders, goes into the pits early, it annoys me, because it wrecks the race, but now it looks like it's between us and Rosberg, fighting for the victory at this moment, but, don't count out Mark Webber yet. He is in P4. And, oh, this is a tricky moment through Ascari. So easy to mess it up. We've actually corner cut twice. <laughs> it's totally nearly lost the car there. We saved it and then corner cut again. But lap five. I think Rosberg should be going into the pits now. We've got orange rear tyres, but I thought we need to catch up to him. Rosberg was actually pulling away from us. So we're going to try and go for the undercut, uh, the overcut even. I always get them confused for some reason. The overcut, see if that works. But uh, yeah, this lap wasn't the best, and I think Rosberg's probably going to extend his lead over us. But we're coming into the box, onto the prime tyres. You can see one of our tyres actually got to red. It got that bad. So let's see where we end up after this pit stop. Looking at the minimap, I'm looking at us compared to Weber at the moment. That's the main thing. We have to beat Weber in every race, really. Um, so that's the main aim, but we'd love to go for the victory here. Why are we getting held up, man? Come on, guys. 5.6, that's a terrible stop. Whoa. Uh, that's Rosberg ahead. 
Have we dropped a position that I can hear? Looking at the minimap, Weber's coming and we're going to have to go for it. He's got ahead of us. We're going to break later than him. Squeeze him out as well if we have to. We had to do that. We had to get ahead of the Red Bull and he's battling with Hamilton now. We've affected his run after the chicane. They should probably be side by side right now. I think they still are. Yes, they are. They're having a great battle. Reminiscent of Alonso versus uh, Vettel. So who's going to get the better of them two? We're solidly through the chicane. Nicely done. Carefully done as well. Rosberg's about four seconds ahead of us, and Buemi's currently in the lead. There's another guy in between who hasn't pit yet, but Weber's got the better of Hamilton. We're on to lap eight now. The two cars ahead of Rosberg did go on to pit, and we've taken a lot of speed into the first corner there. We've lost control, the back end stepping out. Ah, that's a strange alternate way to take the uh, first chicane. It, it didn't work out too badly, actually. We didn't lose too much time. But now, seriously putting the pressure on Rosberg. He's missed the apex of Ascari. We're going to have a decent run here. I think, yes, we are much better than the Mercedes. Slipstream, straight line speed. Can we get the move done before Parabolica? We're going for it. Can we get the lead? I think we've got it. We've got the inside line as well, so we really should. But we've gone slightly too deep with the narrow entry. Uh, line we had there. Rosberg's gonna come back. Yes, he is. We're side by side, and we're gonna be side by side going over the line. Who's got the best straight line speed? The Virgin or the Mercedes? I can't believe I'm saying that. And we actually do. And we've taken the lead. Now we have to go defensive as he tries to use our slipstream. Let's get the braking sorted for turn one. Oh, it's slightly deep, but I think we've got the lead. There we go. The lead is ours. Can we take home the 25 points now? Well, there was a bit of a shaky moment into turn one again. I did the same thing as I did before. Luckily, Rosberg wasn't close enough to pounce, but if we do that again, we might get a penalty for corner cutting. But on to the final lap. The gap is one and a half seconds to Rosberg. If we get through Parabolica unscathed, it looks like we're going to take two victories in a row. We're strong around here. We've proven it. We took pole position, and it's going to be the race victory as well. We are so happy. The Tifosi are going crazy for the Virgin, and we've taken the victory. 25 points. The driver is ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. And we've extended our championship lead over Mark Webber. Brilliant stuff. If you've enjoyed that, please do leave a like. It does show your support for this series. And there we go. We beat Nico Rosberg, who's on a great run of form, considering the Mercedes isn't as strong as other cars. Webber, our championship rival, loses 10 points to us, but he does get a confidence-boosting podium. Further down is some usual suspects, Alonso Button, Vettel down in ninth, and any surprises further down the order? Not that I can think of. Kubitz has had a horrible season thinking about it. He really doesn't have many points at all. I think he's getting battered by Petrov. Degrassi 17th, I, I can't slate him for that. That's a decent effort from him. Hopefully he can get a point one day, but there's the ups updated driver standings we have an 11 point lead over Mark Webber but next race is Singapore so I'm expecting the Red Bull to be strong me not so much it's not a great track of mine and I think we can definitely say it's a two horse race I can't see me and Webber not scoring points too often Vettel's probably too far behind but the battle for third could be interesting it's not something I care about too much I'm obviously concentrating on the championship battle then the rest of the drivers there's Kubica like I mentioned he's only got 12 points which is unbelievable for a Renault. And yeah, on to the constructors. We're catching up to Mercedes, actually. That's something to look out for. But fourth place will be a solid uh, result for Virgin. So if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series. And I'll catch you next time out at the Singapore Grand Prix. Goodbye.